Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Basha, and I am going to show you what I am going to create in this video. And what I'm going to make up is a bride doll. Now, you can buy a angel safety pin ornament kit. Once again, it's called an angel safety pin ornament kit on Amazon. You can pick a color that you like and they will ship it to you. Well, I chose a white angel. And what I'm going to do now is follow my own instructions, and I'm gonna guide you through it, and I'm gonna create a bride doll from this angel kit that you can buy on Amazon. And the first thing you wanna do is make sure you put hoops at the end of every piece of wire that you use okay what that does is prevent things from sliding off the beads from sliding off and you have better control of tightening up the dress portion of this kit I'm giving you an example right there when you place that loop at the end of gathering all the pins you're able to twist and secure it that way you have control of them As you can see, I have gold safety pins, and I have the white beads. So see, now I'm taking the 12 inch wire. I made the hoop at the end, and I'm going to add a small bead, two star beads, and then a small bead. And slide it through the first safety pin. Now I'll continue with that pattern again. I will add a small bead, two star beads, a small bead, and then slide it through the safety pin. And I'll go through all 10 of these safety pins to create the bottom of this bride doll dress. The kit shows you how to do this, but I am adding little extras so that you can find yourself in a more comfortable position of putting this doll together. So there you are. You're doing the last one. And since I already created a hoop at the end, I can now find that hole, the hoop, and pull. And look at that. The dress is already starting to stand up. And then I can just twist the wire. And on the top, the same thing. Twist the wire and tighten it up. And then you have the bottom of the dress. Cut off the excess wiring. And now we're going to work on the head and the body. Now in the kits, they suggest that you weave the body through the dress. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to find an easier way for you to add the body. First of all, you take a 12 inch wire and you bend it in half. After you bend it in half, create a loop. Use your jewelry pliers. That way later on you can hook this angel or this bride doll to a tree or a gift whatever you prefer, but you have that option to hang it up. Now, I'm using a piece of lace. It's only about four inches, and I duct tailed it. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to glue it. I am going to weave my wire through and then pull it through. It's the first thing you want to do. In the angel kits on Amazon, they want you to glue a halo on the head. But I prefer to wire everything because wiring will last your projects a very long time. Now I'm restarting it to show you one more time to weave that little piece of lace through the top. Pull it all the way 
through that wire and then add your head. And in this kit, it's an 18 millimeter pearl ball. And then next, we'll work on the collar. You start with the smallest star, and then you add a medium star, and then a large star. And then there's going to be one extra large star in your kit, and that is her waist. So follow that pattern. But instead of weaving this all the way around the dress, well, I'm just going to poke it through. And I will show you in a second what I mean. And this is the easiest way, I guarantee you, to connect the body to the dress. There is a bead cap in your kit. Make sure you add that. And then make sure your wires, your two wires are together and poke it through. I'm having a hard time at first. But once you poke it through, flip it upside down. And grab on to that wire and then add some beads. Add some of them star beads that come in the kit. I add a little, a little, um, I think it's a four millimeter bead, and then I add some of the star beads, and then I'll show you in the next video coming up how to secure this body to the dress. It will never come apart with my idea here. So, you take your needle nose jewelry pliers. And then start twisting that wire. And twist it, and twist it, and twist it in the circular motion. Until the beads tighten the wire. Right there, it's still a little loose. So I want to show you. But see, there's the little bead in there. And you want you tighten that way or she'll stand straight up for you and never come apart again. Now you cut yourself about a seven inch piece of wire. All this wire comes in the kit that you purchased from Amazon. And you go to that very bottom waist part where it's the largest bead. Take your wire and twist it. Therefore, you have a wire arm on one side and the wire arm on the other side. It doesn't matter how long it is right now. The longer it is, the easier it is for you to add the beads. So right now I'm adding a star bead for the shoulder, then a large millimeter bead, and then I start gradually making them smaller so that her hand is the smallest bead in the kit. The kit, like I said, it will tell you to do this, but the wiring is extremely hard, and I'm showing you an easier way. So if you do buy one of these kits on Amazon, please refer to my video and come back to it. And you'll understand once you receive the kit and then watch my video. The easiest one is the way I do it. Now she has two arms. But as you notice in the end, I gave her a loop to secure the beads on. Now why do I do that? In the kit, you're not supposed to do that. But it's because I make charms. And all you need... So make a charm and now you can hook them on to her hands. Here is a vase of flowers and here is an ice cream sundae charm that I created. And I hooked them up to the angels and I can hook one up to the bride I just made and showed you from the angel kit.